Well, this time last year in Auckland, the whole town was talking about the Jones boy. A year later, the whole world is talking about the Jones boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rugby Wrap Up Everything Footy and More. I'm Jonathan Wicklow, Barbara, your host in the District of Columbia. We have the pleasure of being here with Mr. Michael Jones, arguably the best ever in rugby. Mr. Jones, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're a humble man. You're a humble man, and there's no need to be humble here on Rugby Wrap Up Everything Footy and More. Michael, you're going to be meeting President Obama. Is that correct? Correct. Very excited about that, too. That's why I'm here, of course. I noticed that you're wearing a hoodie for the uh, special meeting with the president. Uh, could you explain the, the hoodie for the folks at home? I'm trying to dress down. I don't want him to be intimidated mm -hmm. by... By us Kiwis being in town. So, you know, we're pretty laid back and we do things, you know, pretty informally. You know, we always wear something black. Certainly. Yeah. And then I've got. Well, all black. Oh, good. Yeah, of course. Then I've got my Ireland shirt underneath. Did you say Ireland? Uh, no, no, definitely not the Irish, but definitely the uh, more the fresh islands of uh, the South Pacific. Speaking of the South Pacific, I'm from just south of Stewart Island. I heard the rumour that you were from south of Invercargill, but I didn't realise it was actually south of Stewart Island. That's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, rather frigid, as you can imagine. Very, very. Aside from meeting President Obama, what brings you to Washington, D.C.? The main reason I came was to do this interview, right? So apart from doing the interview... They've got the Ambassadors uh, Trophy here, which is a game between the New Zealand residents here and an American residents team. And uh, it's all about getting young kids from schools here, high school, which is uh, mm -hmm. a local school in the Washington, D.C. area. We're just trying to raise money to get them over to New Zealand and build their uh, education, but also their rugby aspirations. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And the more youth that play this game, the better off this country is, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, most definitely. I've been very privileged through rugby to do so many amazing things, playing the game that we all love and playing for your country. I mean, that's the ultimate honor. For any Kiwi boy, as you know, Jonathan, I'm sure you... Absolutely. ...as a, as a, as a fine Kiwi yourself. Yeah. So, I don't want to keep you too long, so I'm going to hit you with some rapid-fire questions, Michael. Sure. What exactly is an All Black? Well, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a tradition. Uh, it's it's um, it's all about history. It's a, it's a pretty elite club. It's a pretty exclusive club. And then we were always taught that once we'd made it, you know, don't take this for granted. This is a, every kid's dream in New Zealand just to represent the country in rugby and play for the All Blacks. And it certainly was mine. So the All Blacks embodies not only as the national game and as a national team, but for me it embodies, I think, everything that's great about our country, Jonathan. So you really don't have an answer for what an All Black is like I don't. Maybe if you'd asked where did the name All Blacks come from, I could have answered that Michael, five minutes ago. <laughs> Michael, where did the name All Blacks uh, come from? Here we go. So the name <laughs> All Blacks, um, I think it was 1905. The New Zealand national team had gone over. I mean, rugby had been established in New Zealand and became our national game very quickly. You know, the early pioneers uh, took it on as their game. And so when the 1905 New Zealand representative rugby team went across, they were so superior in terms of of their skills and their speed and they all played like backs right. so the reporter next day called them the all backs so it became uh, a play on the all backs and it became the all blacks so um, you know it's rather than some sort of amazing sort of uh, unreal sort of evolution of the All Blacks. In fact, it was just a bit of a misprint. The fern, the silver fern. Well, the silver fern, uh, it grows everywhere. I mean, I've got it in my backyard and it's one side's green and the other side's silver. And the New Zealand has always used that symbol as our national emblem, really. So the silver fern is on They our don't smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a cup of tea, you Auckland faggot. <laughs> Man, who told you that rubbish? <laughs>